Transformer installation is always very special for the weather. I cannot installation when it's raining, so I need my sun. Yeah, today I have sun, I am happy. We've reached quite a milestone for the project here at Benmore. Uh, we've got the first converter transformer fully assembled and uh, slotted into its final position, pushed into its uh, transformer bay and fully bolted and welded down into its final position. They yeah, just have to re-tighten some of the glands that have either haven't been tightened up uh, well enough in the first place or they've just come loose during transportation. Just the, uh, the armouring, the screen of the cables, just going through and checking them all, make sure that they're all done, done up tight and fit for purpose. We have on, on each side forward we have two shock recorders, right? And uh, when they arrived in Timaru port, we was recording the first time, zero, zero, no shocks. Then after we transported from the Timaru port to our site here in Benmore, we checked it again and it was zero. Now, after, after they are in place, we make the final check. Up to now, nothing happened, right? It's right. So down here, these are some of the, um, the bolts that are going to hold uh, the transformer in position. There's 24 of these, they uh, M56 uh, bolts, um, and they just slot in. There's a uh, tr transition plate here. There's a big casting weld plate that's held down into the concrete. Got a transition plate sitting on top, and it's welded uh, to the cast in place, and then. Finally, the bolts will go in there, be tightened up, and have the uh, uh, washer and nuts all torqued up. There you can see the interface between the inverter transformer bushings and penetrating through into the valve hall. So, the large bushings that you saw on the transformer fully assembled there, that's now poking through into the valve hall will be connected to the thyristor valves. This area will be filled with a durasteel with a uh, fire protective um, infill and basically seal, seal all, all, all of this up to make sure that um, it's all weather tight and that uh, this is a, a fully protected fire and blast wall. These, what we've got here is the main bushings, the AC bushings coming in from the transformer. They protrude in here, and then later on there's other apparatus and earth switches that are installed here. Up here we've got the uh, thyristor tower. The, it's eight levels, there's 26 uh, thyristors per level. And on the outside we've got the surge arresters. Uh, it's slowly being assembled over the last uh, two months, each tower. You see across the far side there, going through the wall, is the cooling water system. The, all the thyristors are water cooled. There's a large cooling water system outside, outdoors. Because of the heat created by the thyristors, they need to uh, be cooled. So they've got a cooling water system. The, the water is continuously circulating through the valves, out of the valve hall, through this, these cooling systems here. And you'll notice there's about 10 fans on each uh, cooling system. There's three systems, one for each valve. And uh, also you'll see underneath here we've got a cable ladder coming through. It's uh, the, for the control cables and the supply cables for each fan. And we've got uh, T and isolating switches on each group, so that's to uh, control and isolate the uh, fans. So it should make a, it'll make a real hum once it's all going. So uh, the water's going to be totally pure, deionized, uh, pure water uh, for cooling purposes. All the plastic pipes up here, you'll see the main water arteries going into each trans, uh, each thyristor uh, group. And then under close, sitting up under the thyristor, you'll see there's some finer clear white tubes is where it takes the water in through the heat sink, which uh, accompanies each uh, thyristor. It's a lot of work, we've come a long way to, to get to this point, and uh, that's the, one, the first one done, and we're just setting up now for the second one, 
Second one behind us, we've got the rail system, we've got trans car on site here setting up with all the heavy haulage systems to uh, push the second one into place. Well today we're uh, sliding T2 uh, into position uh, over the plinth so they can do the tack welding of the transition plates. Um, that exercise probably takes about um, six, seven hours to do, to complete, and that's our task here for today. These are, are the transition plates, and um, what they're setting up here to do is bring the transformer in, and what they'll do is that they'll line all the uh, bolt holes up. They actually put the bolts in and line them up, make sure they're going to line up with the holes on the transformer, and tack weld these down in a couple of places, um, and then take the bolts out, lift the transformer up and slide it back out and complete the welds around here. So that makes sure that when the transformer comes back in into its final position there that all the holes are going to line up. That's the theory anyway. And um, yeah, they'll complete the welds and finish the painting and uh, prepare the area so, so that this is all finished by the time the transformer comes back in into its final position. The sliding, uh, the actual sliding only takes about uh, two hours, but the prep work to do it takes about five. Yeah, that's it, that's it. So these are the tracks that we're going to slide the transformers in on. So basically, the, the take, take the weight of the transformers, they slide over these blocks, they've been oiled to allow it to slide. And then a pneumatic um, piston basically be locked into here and then it'll push the transformer in and then they'll take the piston in and put it into the next track and slowly, so the piece by piece, the transformer will slowly slide across the, um, the tracks into its final place. Perfect! Our skid rails are perfect, ready to skid in. That's a laser reference that we put out the centre line, the grid lines that are given uh, uh, to us to work on and the transformer when we first place it down from transport out there we try to get it within about 50 millimetres of true sitting here. So w when we get it across we manoeuvre it around till we actually place it on those lines. going very well. We are very lucky, I say, with the weather, with our client, with our people, with our subcontractor. In the moment, everything is, we can say we are happy. <laughs>